scientists used many methods to predict the age of fossils and rock, such as radioactive isotopes, thermoluminescence, and electron spin resonance. These methods provide valid age data in most instances, although there is a small percentage of instances in which even these generally reliable methods yield incorrect results. Such failures may be due to laboratory errors, unrecognized geologic factors, or misapplication of the techniques. Scientists who measure isotope ages do not rely entirely on the error estimates and the self-checking features of age diagnostic diagrams to evaluate the accuracy of radiometric ages. Whenever possible they design an age study to take advantage of other ways of checking the reliability of the age measurements. The simplest means is to repeat the analytical measurements in order to check for laboratory errors. Another method is to make age measurements on several samples from the same rock unit. This technique helps identify post-formation geologic disturbances because different minerals respond differently to heating and chemical changes. The isochron techniques are partly based on this principle. The use of different dating methods on the same rock and fossil is an excellent way to check the accuracy of age results. If two or more radiometric clocks based on different elements and running at different rates give the same age, that's powerful evidence that the ages are correct. All of the different dating methods agree. They agree a great majority of the time over millions of years of time. Some skeptics make it sound like there is a lot of disagreement, but this is not the case. The disagreement in values needed to support the position of young Earth proponents would require differences in age measured by orders of magnitude, example factors of 10,000, 100,000, a million, or more. The differences actually found in the scientific literature are usually close to the margin of error, usually a few percent, not orders of magnitude. A recent survey of the rubidium strontium method found only about 30 cases, out of tens of thousands of published results, where a date determined using the proper procedures was subsequently found to be an error.